it's Rebecca here from Precious Pages Papercraft and today I'm designing a layout for Bramble Fox using the July Fox Box Plus which includes this fox cut stencil at number 68, this gorgeous kind of like fish scale stencil. And I'm scrapping um, a couple of pool photos from um, last week actually at the beginning of the May half term, my little boy in his swimming pool in the garden playing around. Um, and this summer piece from the Fox Box and fun as well actually, um, they're just fantastic. You get the white outline and then you get coloured acrylic letters to um, fill in the spaces and they're absolutely amazing. So I'm going to use both because obviously why not? Um, and I'm using summer fun as my title. So I've cut my photos into circles. I just felt like I was in a circular mood today. And I've pulled out Vicky Bootin's Sweet Rush collection because I remembered it having a lot of kind of tropical holiday summery things in it. So I've gone straight for the, the palm tree, which is what I was looking for. Um, and I'm going to add some stenciling to my background. So what I'm gonna try and do is build the layout as I go. Uh, and stick things together as I build it, if that makes sense. Normally I put loads down on the page and then I have to try and stick it all together or take it all off to do my mixed media. So today, as I select a piece, I'm gonna try my hardest to get it stuck in place. And it works pretty well. Um, I started off with my palm trees, got those in. And then as you can see, I just started piling things on the page. But I do come back in a minute and stop myself and get them all stuck together. So I've got those palm trees up the top there, I've got one bigger than the other and then I've got some die cut clouds that I'm bringing in as well and those work really well because I'm actually going to use an older fox cut stencil as well. It hasn't got a number on it but it's the one that's got the cloud outlines and the seagulls on it. So I'm going to use that at the top half of my page to uh, kind of extend those cloud clusters. And here I am now just getting everything stuck in place. I stuck the tape on the wrong side of that die cut. Don't want to stick anything to my background just yet. And I'm trying to call on the colours that are in my photo. So there's blues, there's oranges, there's some green grass in the background. Um, there's not a lot of pink in the photos, but my little boy's rubber ring has got sort of a pinky purple colour on it. So I'm bringing in some pink florals as well. And all these bright, colourful colours together just scream summer and holidays to me. So they all work really nicely. Oh, and my, <laughs> my scrapbooking snack of choice today is my uh, pick and mix, which was half price in Walkos. So it would have been rude not to. So I've got a whole tub of sweets there, um, which are almost as colourful as my layout today. But this is the stencil I was talking about, I've just pulled it out there that's got the clouds on it and then this is number 68 which is a new one that comes with the July Fox Box Plus or it's also available um, on its own in the store. And I'm using a Distress Ink today in Salty Ocean just to continue with the kind of beachy pool holiday theme, um, nice name for that one. And I'm just going to use the central part of my stencil and I'm moving it around the page a bit and I just want sort of a central bottom half design here. I'm going for, going to have that ink on the bottom half of my um, sort of centred layout and then I'm going to do the clouds at the top. So it might look a bit random at the moment, but once the things have been popped back on place, it's just a subtle bit of detailing, just peeking out below the photos there, sort of where the water of the swimming pool would be. And as you can see, where I stuck everything together quite early on, I can just move it on and off the page as one piece, which is really handy when it comes to doing some background work like this. I don't have to keep rebuilding the layout. And I just bring it back in every now and then just to see if I'm happy with that stenciling and if I need to add any more or not. Um, it just makes life so much easier. And I'm using this cloud stencil. Now, like I said, it doesn't have a number on it. Um, I think it was one of the Foxbox um, stencils. But I'm just moving it around and layering it on top of each other there to continue those clouds onto my background. And I love how this is looking with that lovely blue in the background. Um, and I'm pretty happy with that stenciling at the moment, so I'm going to commit and get everything stuck down now. And as always, I love to have lots of dimension, so bringing in lots of foam on the back here. This is um, adhesive foam, so it's sticky on one side. You just peel back the labelling, uh, and then I just add a little bit of double-sided tape to the reverse, and it just makes life really quick and it's simple to get everything stuck down on the background. So 
So there we go, that's in place now and I love how this is looking. And I've left a little space over on the bottom left there for my title and it's slightly going to overlap my photo, which obviously as always has been raised up on foam. So I'm just adding a strip of foam to my background and this was super easy. I didn't even have to cut the foam and kind of apply it to the back of my title sort of really intricately like I normally would. Because those letters are gonna be backfilled by the colors, a block of foam behind isn't gonna show. So it was really quick and easy. And as you can see, I'm just gonna get those letters stuck back in. That's gonna cover up all of that horrible gray foam. And I love how this title is just coming to life once I've stuck all those colours back in. Um, they are really proper summery colours, so fantastic. And the fact that you get six different colours, I just love. And then I couldn't resist adding the word fun in as well, because mainly it had that orange N, and my little boy is wearing orange in the photo. So that worked so well with my title, I had to just extend it to summer fun. And then I'm going to just finish off with a couple of little bits from the Vicky Booting collection. Just got a little tropical leaf sticker there that says happy. So it kind of extends my title to happy summer fun. And now I'm currently raiding my stash for my Bramble Fox epoxy stickers. These come in the Fox Box Plus. So as well as getting the acrylics, you also get a stencil, a sheet of paper snips, which you can just see to the left of the screen there in my box. And you also get a strip of these epoxy stickers and they work perfectly for those circular elements at the bottom of the paper bottle the bottom of the paper snips but they also were the perfect size for some of the Vicky Bootin stickers so I've used one of those that says happy day and the word day is kind of like holographic so it's really shiny um, and I just use a one inch circle punch to punch those out or the paper snips and then you add those epoxy stickers on top and it gives you a gorgeous epoxy flare um, and I love how those look and I've seen a few things on Facebook recently about metal flare rusting um, perfect epoxy flare they are not going to rust the runny metal on them so a really good alternative and i love those they're available and um, like i said in the fox box plus or you can buy those separately in the store as well i believe um, and they're well worth it i love the texture they bring it to the page so I've just finished off there with a few little uh, wordy stickers to the left of, sorry, to the right of my title. I've got this week, just chilling and being awesome. Um, I liked this week because it had the orange in it and also it was half term week, so that worked well. And then I've just added a few star stickers around that have got some um, gold foiling on. And then I've um, brought my stenciling down a little bit um, with that Fox Cut 68. And that is me finished. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this layout and it gives you some inspiration. I love these new um, title pieces in the Fox Box with those blocky letters. Those are fantastic and a great way to bring lots of different colours to the page. So um, well worth getting the Fox Box this month. So in the description box below, as always, I will leave a link to the Fox Box sign up page for you. Also to the Bramble Fox website and our Bramble Fox Friends Facebook group. Lots going on over there. And um, we've got weekly lives every Monday. We've got the monthly challenge and loads and loads of inspiration shared by the DT and members. So thanks again for joining me and I'll see you next time.